what's up welcome to or back to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the like popular Instagram clothing accounts which is Princess Polly I think I initially heard about Princess Polly from Remy Ashton here on YouTube I watch her videos and vlogs religiously and she talks about Princess Polly all the time and frequently has a discount code with them I have ordered things from Wild Fox Wild Fox White Fox? Wild Fox. I don't know what it is. And pretty little thing. So I've definitely shopped at and looked into a few different of the like Instagram clothing accounts that seem to be really popular. And they're heavily promoted in general or by influencers. When I was looking into Princess Polly, I did notice that it was significantly more expensive than Pretty Little Thing, for example. Pretty Little Thing to me is like a step up from Forever 21. A little more expensive, much better quality than Forever 21, but still they give out discount. I mean, you can go to their website right now I'm sure there's probably like a 50% off discount code that is nice and I do like their stuff but I wanted to try Princess Polly out because their clothing is a little more my style so I wanted to try it out and see if their clothing was actually worth the money if it actually you know ran true to size if it's actually good if it's like good quality so I ordered four items from Princess Polly and my total ended up being $118.30 and that's with the discount code that Remy has it's Rim XO and that took off almost $30 and I ordered everything in a size 6 that's usually what I wear in the like Instagram clothing accounts and I ordered three dresses and one bodysuit this bodysuit is my favorite bodysuit that I own. I mean, I don't own like a ton of bodysuits, but I have a few and this one is by far my favorite. First of all, let me tell you how much it cost. So that bodysuit was $31.69 and I think that's factoring in the discount. At first, I almost didn't get it because I felt like it was kind of too expensive for a bodysuit, just for like a plain basic bodysuit. However, I wanted to give it a shot. I truly, really love it. The first thing that was really important to me before I even bought it, I made sure it did have the adjustable straps because I'm five foot tall. I feel like most of the time when I order things from similar websites, they're made for like model size girls who are five, seven to like 5'10 and I'm nowhere close to that. So I frequently have issues where I'll order things that are way too big on me or way too long on me and then at that point I'm just like over it. Like I, I'm not somebody that's gonna go like take it to a tailor and get it fixed. Especially for websites like Pretty Little Thing, their stuff is so inexpensive that like I just can't push myself to spend more money into getting the clothing fixed to where I need it to be or fit, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, kind of. The next reason that I really, really love this bodysuit is the neckline. It's just really flattering on me and I didn't actually know that until I bought it and tried it on. <laughs> and it is nice on me too because I'm bigger chested and it works. Like my, I don't feel like my boobs are hanging out or I have like a ton of cleavage and it's just like too much everywhere. The cut is just really nice for girls that are bigger chested. The last thing that I really love about this bodysuit is that I don't have to wear a bra with it. I hate wearing them. I think they're awful and anytime I can avoid wearing them I do and this is definitely one of those. So I actually would highly recommend this. Although it's you know $30 ish for just a basic black bodysuit. The quality is so nice and the fit is so nice that I've been debating on buying more ever since I got this one. The next thing I got is this. Well it doesn't look that nice on the hanger but this dress it's called the Sinclair mini dress and I'll link all this stuff below if I can still find it I ordered it like a month ago so we'll see it like crosses in the back and zips all right we're You'll see me wearing it. It's not really attractive on the hanger. But I really, really like this dress. This one also costs $31.69 with the discount. And for a dress, I mean, I feel like that was a good deal. Like, I really, really love the color of this. I just think it's so pretty. To be honest, when it came in, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to send this back. Like, there's no way this is gonna fit correctly. It's gonna be too long. It's not gonna cover up my boobs enough, like, on the side. But it actually fits really, really nice. The material is really nice, and it's super breathable so it's perfect for summer. I really like the straps in the back. I like how that's adjustable because again, I am so small. So the straps being adjustable
digestible is actually really helpful for me. I think it's super cute. I think it was worth the money. It feels like really, really nice quality. So big fan of this. On to the third thing I got, which is another dress. Like I said, I got three dresses and one bodysuit. So item number four will also be a dress. <laughs> I love this. When it came in, again, it was something I was really scared about that it wasn't going to fit nice, but it actually fits me like perfect. And I think if you're like taller than me, this is for sure gonna be way too short on you. I mean, it didn't say on the website, but maybe it actually was made for petite people. I don't know. It's just a little strapless dress and it's super cute. It has this like, I don't know what this like elastic material is called, but it's kind of got that like sticky things. So the dress actually stays up. Like I don't sit there and pull it up all day when I wear it. It just fits really nice around my chest, but then actually fits the rest of my body. This dress was the Bordon mini dress and it was $42.25. The last dress I got is this one, which actually might be my favorite thing out of the four that I got. I've worn this dress multiple times. Again, I think this is a dress that if you're much taller than me, it's gonna be too short on you. I don't know, maybe not, because the straps are adjustable. These ties aren't like permanent, like you can untie it and adjust it to where you need it to go. But it's just so cute. It's a really thin, but not see-through material. It's super comfortable to wear. I think this is one of those dresses too that could be really cute with a t-shirt under it. I can't rock that style, like that's not my style. However, if that's your style, I think this would be really, really cute to do that in. Again, the best thing about, actually now that I think about it, all of these items is I don't wear a bra with any of them. That's just something that's really important to me because I hate wearing bras. It's not very form-fitting at all. It's kind of loosey flowy, but it doesn't make you look overweight or like pregnant or something like that, if that makes sense. It's really, really nice quality. When I like touch this dress or when I wear this dress, I feel like I went to like one of those like little specialty boutique shops and spent $60, $70 plus on this dress. And in reality, it was $42.25. So like I said, overall with tax and everything, I ended up spending $118.30 for four pieces and I think that's awesome. It's more than I would typically spend on clothing. However, I'm so happy with all four of these pieces. This is so much better quality than a lot of the other like Instagram clothing accounts that are out there. But yeah, so I really like all this stuff. I'm super happy with it. I'm sure I'll be buying more stuff soon. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Now that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.